I'm Trey. And I'm trying something tonight for the very first time. So bear with me. It might be crazy and kind of motion sick like, but you might enjoy. See, my idea was well, since I'm in this car so much, traveling back and forth to drag, to real life, back to drag, I thought, why not try a dashboard confessional? Except I'd like to call it, as all you know about me, Toasty Confessionals. That's right. Me and Toasty are on the move. And you get to join in. But because I, I'm with Allstate, and I want my safe driver discount, I might not be able to read all your, di all your little comments along the way. But I promise you, after I end it, we have to reconnect. Oh, there we are. How's it going? So, you get to ride with me. As of tonight, the drag bus is going to Play Dance Bar. If you haven't seen Facebook and you've been living under a rock, which means you probably didn't know that Donald Trump really is president. It's not a game, it's not a joke. We are having a benefit tonight at play. Team Tennessee, whoop whoop. We have several of them going to nationals. Two of them will actually be going in May to the Miss Nationals of US of A system. But we have an amazing lineup tonight, all going for them to make their way to now Dayton, Ohio at Mask. It's a huge thing. My other half, Monroe, is gone for a few years. One, not a few, I don't know what I'm counting. Maybe I'm counting mine. I've gone for one year, so there we combine. Problem is we go so much as backup people that I can't keep up with what happens. I'm old, brain, you know. So, there you go. But on my way there, so you get to ride along. Hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm trying to read why I'm stopped at the red light. Remember, safe driver discount, being safe. So, this is what's gonna happen in the Toasty Confessionals. It might be a little bit like, I don't know if you're old enough or maybe you were not brazen enough to try this back in the day, but HBO used to run their After Dark. And if you got those free weekends, you watch the Taxi Cab Confessionals. Yeah, well, I don't have any crazy people in the back right now, but it might be a little fun and entertaining. And over time, if you really enjoy it, maybe we'll have more episodes. And maybe we'll get crazy people in the back. Who knows? I believe the trick of this is going to be keeping you still. But we'll work on it. Hopefully I don't get you motion sickness. Just saying. If we go... Whoa, there we are. Thank you, Verizon, for joining in. Sorry if it got a little slow and weird. You know how it is. Can you hear me now? Not really. Sprint guy. Gotta love that, right? Like, bitch slap in the face to Verizon. Gotta love him. As I was saying before the rude interruption, Verizon, this is gonna be a little mix of the taxi cab is gonna be like. Thank you. Keeps going out in and out. And maybe a little bit like Corbin's, you know, carpool karaoke. Cause you know, drag bus will have drag people and Lord knows we love to sing. Well, at least lip sync for our lives. So yes, this is gonna be a car ride full of bad puns. Hope you enjoy it. I wish I could read your questions. So. If you're wondering why suddenly the thought of doing this, well, I'm driving so I can't, woohoo! Man, this is gonna be a wonderful video. Once we get on the interstate, it should be okay. But right now, it just wants to Wi-Fi connect when it can. I'm sorry. As I was saying, which will probably interrupt this because you know how this has gone. I am doing a wonderful little thing that happened to me, which is called King Me, Rise of a Drag King. I was blessed, and I do mean blessed. You have no idea. I'm still kind of in shock that it's happening. Blessed to be nominated. I'm trying why I have a moment. Woo! Hey. Hey, everybody. I don't know how to make this work for me. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to be fun and yeah. Red lights are great for this. Okay, back to what I was saying. So, I'm doing this because I am a part of a wonderful thing. If you have paid attention to Facebook, it is the first ever online king competition and reality series it is called king me rise of a drag king and we almost got in a wreck ladies and gentlemen because people can't drive how hard is it you don't get over last minute that's why you get at the red light and you get in your lane god bless it 
Anyways, as you see the road, this is Laverne. Uh, you like that? It's like panorama camera without the work. Sorry. Maybe we won't be turning too much anymore. Getting on the interstate. Woo! Sorry. I hope I'm not making y'all like motion sickness for real. Because if I was watching, I'd be like, damn Trey, just like, really. Can you just remain calm and stay in one place? Back to me now. Woo, there you are. Yay. Okay, maybe we'll be a little still now. So we can do this. Let me try this again. I am doing this because I'm a part of King Me, Rise of a Drag King. And I am literally still in shock and blown away. I was picked as for the top 12 of worldwide kings. And I do mean worldwide, ladies and gentlemen. We've got them from London. We've got them from the UK. We've got them from New Zealand. We've got them from China. We've got them all the way out in the US, spread all over. Shout out to a former Nashville Jack Jackrabbit. All the way in Texas is a part of it as well. So we are part of something huge, something unique. And it's amazing that I even, one, get to be alive and why it's happening. And two, get to be a part of it. It's just like, I seriously want sometimes want to like fall out and just not get up and just live in this moment of top 12. Because then when I get up, I have to realize just what I've got myself into and the kings I have to keep up with. Which let me tell you, this boy has been an Instagram hoe and followed like for a while. And yeah, my work cut out for me. But Monster to the Rescue, sponsor plug, I don't know if that's allowed on Facebook Live, but oh well. So a part of that is also promotion and footage because it is a reality series. So not only are we competing weekly with 10 more competitions, it will be all the way till June, but we are also, there's a po-po-ho, calm down, a po-po. At least you're hanging in my ruby mirror and I'm not like texting, right? Okay. He's like right behind us now. Sorry to interrupt this whole story, but I get a little cautious. There you go, Mr. Popo Ho. Pass me, please. Pass me. Sorry. See, I work for the Popo, so I know how this goes. I know what could happen. And there he goes, sliding by. You can see my eyes right now. Anyways, back to the game. Sorry. So sorry. Uh, so, as I was saying, not only do we do the competitions, but it is a reality series. So, they want footage, whether it's bloopers of our outtakes of our weekly challenges or whatever else we can come up with. They pretty much said, you have freedom and go. And I inserted evil laugh. Because <laughs> this is going to be fun. So you might get annoyed with me. Might be a lot of live videos. Might be some randomness. I'm sorry. Hopefully I make it funny for you. Hopefully we make it great. And hopefully I get to include some of you as I see you around. Because trust me. Without you, I wouldn't be here. I would have quit a long time ago. Would have said I was too old for this nonsense. I'm no good. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like trying real hard, dancing real fast. But y'all have supported me. You've pushed me. You've inspired me. You made me convince myself I should try to be in this competition. And look what has happened. I'm top 12. And I love you all for every moment I'm about to enjoy. Whether I get the first one kicked off, girl, and have to lip sync for my life and done. Or, you know... I make it towards the end. Who knows? Either way, it's an experience I'll never forget. And all because of you guys. Yeah, you. So, give me just a second. Um, I got behind this rider truck. He going way too slow on the interstate, girl. Can't be doing this. Nah, nah. Anyway. So, yes. Here we are. Toasted Confessionals, episode one. First confession I'd like to say is this boy is nervous. Yes, nervous. You know, they never ask those questions on RuPaul. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm nervous, okay? Nervous. One, the judges are amazing. We've got Goldie Peacock. We've got Gunnar Gatlin. We've got the host, Spikey Van Dyke, which let me tell you how fangirl and fanboy I have done on that one. Lord. Thank you, Pensacola. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Giovanni. And then, of course, Vincent Von Dyke. I mean, come on now. Talk about creative across the board in every way possible. You've got it. So no telling what we're going to get thrown at us. And, you know, 
this little Nashville guy is just a little fish in a big old pond now. A big pond of 12 guys who are outstanding and worldwide and have their own niche and their own thing going beyond anything you could probably imagine sometimes. So, I'm nervous. I feel like I need me a little Prozac or, you know, <laughs> or maybe, you know, a little drink and drink. I don't know. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, we're going to make it work though, right, Nashville? Y'all going to be behind me. So, keep up with it because here's how it's going to go down. Of course, we're going to have the hashtag, so your team, Alize, or my new one that I came up with because, you know, they ask us to be promoted in marketing. Alize and your cup. Get you on that, yeah, you know, top shelf entertainment. Whoa. So keep up with that. They're going to be voting for, of course, fan favorites. They're going to be later on having availability to purchase Team Trey t shirts with the Kingly logo. So y'all would like have my name on your back. And that would be like, whoa. Because you know, I, Daddy didn't make a boy boy. So I couldn't play no baseball and get me a jersey. So I'll take the Team Trey shirt. Ain't no thing. keep up it's gonna be a long process which I know that sometimes as a community and media and social media world that we're in our attention span like five seconds we see something cute we say oh then like next second it's like squirrel you know but it's okay we're gonna keep it entertaining I promise these other 11 guys are nothing short of amazing so they're gonna keep you on your toes and make you watch make you laugh and make you enjoy just gonna let you know so that's confession number one. Wish I had someone to interview, it'd be so fun, huh? Confession number two. I don't know, I lost it. Really did, oh, oh wait, no I didn't. So confession number two, you know that you're doing too much drag when you realize you need a haircut, but it's not because your hair's grown too long, but because you ain't got no facial hair. That's right. I realized today, as I was trying to get ready and looking at my makeup bag, I got like this much facial hair left. Which means, this boy gotta get a haircut. Cause you see, I use the art of my own hair. That's right. Imagine if your first time at a, hair, at a salon, your first time with the girl in the chair, the guy, and your first thing has to be other than, hi, how are you? Is, um, is there any way I can get you not to sweep up my hair at the end of this? Pause. Silence. Still silence. Not sure why. Wondering if you got a, like a closet full of hair. You're a psycho killer. A hoarder in the worst sense. They just don't know. Then you got to tell them, well, I do drag. Wait a minute. I thought that was for guys wanting to be girls. I mean, there's girls that do that wanting to be guys. Well, let me educate you pinky finger out so yeah gotta get a haircut shout out to my boy daniel be trying to see you soon he's at element 12 south over in west tennessee let me tell you this boy don't look now it's grown out but man he can line you up he can put designs in your head like you've never seen and he's a perfectionist you're gonna look nothing but fly when you walk out of his chair i promise you plus you get a nice hot towel on your face and on the side of your head who don't like to be pampered when they in a chair i'm just saying Again to get out from the slow car. I know I can't read now, but while y'all are there watching, if you're still tuned in, I might have bored you to death and you're like, oh God, please, please make it stop. I don't want to see anymore. If you're still there, why don't you leave some comments of what you would like to see on Toasty Confessionals? Tell me some topics. Tell me some people. Maybe I'll try to get them in the car. Tell me some fun games. You let me know. And when I get available to read this, when I pull in, I will make it happen. We've got so many trips planned, me and Monroe. We're wonderful Trey and Monroe's Drag Adventure is definitely on the move in the month of February. So we've got several bookings we got to go to, which means we'll be in the car, ladies and gentlemen, and not just for a 15-minute trip. Don't worry, we won't go live for two hours. You remember, I'm with Verizon. Can't hear me now. Well, guess what they also don't have? Unlimited data. So I can't be doing that, okay? We'll have to periodically do that for you. Unless someone want to hand over some of their data. Do they have data sharing? I know you can roll over, but is data sharing? You ever seen that? 
next thing we need to do sharing of the data
four cylinder. This guy's is all the muscle. All right, little tidbit for those not from Nashville. See that up there at Church Street? Well, <laughs> here in Nashville, we like to make things a little backwards, or as I like to say, bass backwards. Um, yeah, all the gay establishments are on Church Street. You got in Stutter. That's right, all the gay bars, the gay lounges, even Hustler is on Church Street. And guess where all the churches are? On Gay Street. And no, I didn't make that up. That is not a joke, not a bad pun. That is a real life. Hashtag real life. All the churches be on the Gay Street. All our gayness be on Church Street. Just how we roll in Nashville, you know. It is what it is. Man. I just got to really do some more contouring. The glow of the red tail light is just showing off how it didn't work out so well. What happens when you're trying to put on like a un undercover face walking out of the police station? Because on the real, I used to get ready there. Maybe walked out in facial hair by my chief and assistant chief. After that, I said maybe not so much anymore. Might not need to do that. So, I stopped. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. I know you're probably like, oh my God, thank God. I was only watching this long to be nice. You know, it was her first video. Make her feel good about herself. Well, I appreciate the thought and the love and the support, whether it's fake or not. But it is time for me to go. I have arrived at my destination. You have arrived at your destination. Your destination will be on the left. Sorry, pimp parking, you know. I wanna say bye to y'all properly, so I wanna park first. Okay, there we are. Well, we have arrived, everyone. Hi, everyone that I missed along this way, sorry. Yeah, I know, whoever just called me. Oh, I've been wanting to become a diva. I thought you were calling me a diva. I was like, well, little do you know, Trey's a little gay boy and fabulous on occasion. It's hard to lose Amber right away, just saying. Anyways, it is past 7.30. I need to get my tail inside. Much love for you who did watch and enjoy it. I hope it was fun. Stay tuned, there will be more. Also, they'll be posted on YouTube, on my channel, Trey Alize, so you can catch it later, watch it again, laugh at the really bad jokes, whatever you need to do, you know, whatever you want to. But seriously, all of you who are watching, who did watch, who may see this on YouTube, who do enjoy somewhat what I do, don't know why, thank you though, you mean the world to me, and here we go. Top 12 is on its way, week one, we just had to send in our video, so February 6th, those will air. And we'll see who gets eliminated. And I thank you all for your love, support, and kindness. You were smart, you was kind, and you was important. And I love you. Peace, love, and drag, everyone. Smooches.